Daddy, Me, and the Magic Hour by Laura Krauss Melmid. Illustrated by Sarita Rich. Published by Sky Pony Press, an imprint of Simon & Schuster. Read with permission. We're home! Thud! goes our backpacks on the front hall floor. Daddy starts cooking, and Mommy feeds the baby, while I run around like a superhero yelling, Kapow! Mommy says, please settle down, and Daddy tells me, Stop bothering the cat and come to the table. Now. After supper, Daddy says it's the magic hour. That's what we call it when we take our after supper walk. The sun has gone down, but clouds still show a sunny glow as Mommy waves to us from the stoop. Outside, bright, loud daytime is getting softer. Some neighbors are out spraying hoses on thirsty front guard roses that are showing their colors before darkness falls. Here come the dogs stepping out with their people for a magic hour parade. They don't bark at me, and I am not afraid. Good job, says Daddy, when I pat a friendly one, who wags his tail a little and licks my face. Thump, thump, thump. Behind us, two feet pound. Then the sound of hard breathing as a jogger passes by. I run to the playground, hide, and jump out with a giant roar that scares a shout from Daddy. Daddy tickles me, and I tickle him. We laugh and laugh. Then, as we quiet down, we listen to the peaceful sound of the playground at the magic hour, when we are almost the only ones around. I can choose any swing I want. Higher and higher I fly until the toe of my sneaker almost touches the sky. Now Daddy is next to me. Up and down and up we go exactly together. And together we slow. Then we're heading home, past the lady riding her bike. She waves and smiles at us, and we wave back, making a magic hour friend. I hear crickets chirping up in the treetops, where I can't see. One firefly sparks. And then more twinkle high and low. Daddy teaches me how to catch one in two hands. Hold it carefully and then let it go. The sky is purpling now. Daddy shows me how things that are white by day like his shirt and my shoes and that patch of daisies glow all silvery 
as daytime fades away. One swoop and I'm up on daddy's shoulders. Together, we make a quiet giant who can almost reach the moon. And by the round moon's light, we head home to mommy. When I give her a flower and tell her about the magic hour in my very hushest voice before she tucks me in for the night. The